There comes a point in someone's life where 10 years flies by fast. Hi, this is Beyond Wisdom, aka known as Flawed Excuses, and I'm going over a small retrospective of Halo 3. Most people uh, are familiar with the Halo franchise today with uh, Halo 5 Guardians. Halo 5 Guardians is still an epic game, has great multiplayer, and is still played today. Halo 3, on the other hand, was one of the last epic, epic stories in gaming history. The game itself was well received, and almost every person I knew was at GameStop 10 years ago, buying this game, hollering about this game, going over all the television commercials, and everything else in between. Some people, when they boot up this game, as the title screen that I'm showing right now suggests, this epic music brings back so many memories. It is a um, game that's uh, pretty dear to my heart. The franchise itself is pretty dear. And it's pretty much the, la the last time a game was an event. You could have, you know, arguments saying Call of Duty is, but even then it has started to wane. I would say probably since maybe Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty started to wane as a um, epic powerhouse. But back to Halo 3. This game wowed me. The first time I ever seen the intro sequence in the story campaign, it was gorgeous, beautiful, well thought out, connected the end of Halo 2 pretty well. Being able to see the Arbiter, being able to see Johnson, and just being able to see the Chief in high fidelity was just insane. I had the opportunity to play Halo 3 around the time that it launched. My sister invited somebody over. He worked at GameStop and actually had it at launch. It was probably maybe about 12 minutes after. Well, we ended up setting up the game and ended up playing through halfway through the campaign. I made the mistake of pre-ordering the game at our local mall, which didn't open until 10 o'clock in the morning. So I sat and waited for about maybe, I'd say about four hours before I actually got my hands on my physical copy. But the second I got that home, it was all I played. I still don't think of anything else that was more impactful when it comes to gaming or spent more time in outside of Halo, outside of Halo 2. But as an impact game, this game leaves a legacy when it comes to a lot of uh, modern shooters. And it is one of the uh, final last gasp for uh, AAA games to um, cater, to cater to the fans. And the fans really embrace the content. And it's, it's not often anymore, from my opinion, that the game will have as much impact as it does today. Um, I'm actually really glad that I actually had a chance to play Halo 3 when it released. I have all the uh, achievements for this game, and it was really, really fun to play. Um, going, going back and uh, seeing in retrospect, it's pretty jarring knowing that 10 years has passed. And when you reach a certain point in your life, you actually do find that 10 years flies by quicker than you need. But as the um, outro approaches me, I like to say uh, I hope everyone has a good memory about Halo 3, the Halo franchise, and Halo in general. Just uh, if you want to stop by and check out my videos some more, just hit up all the videos that I have the content available. If not, just leave comments at the bottom, and I will catch you guys later. Thank you.